we've been talking about the uh, virtues of prevention for as long as I can remember, and still only uh, approximately 2% of total healthcare expenditures are invested in prevention. What do we have to do to change that? And uh, why, why is more progress not being made in this area? I think part of it is the payment model. You know, historically, healthcare has evolved around a payment model that has people billing and collecting for services, um, you know, fee for service, as it's called in our industry. And I think when you have that, it shouldn't surprise anybody that you have a focus on those services. Um, but some things, as it turns out, that's tremendously valuable for health may not be billable. Um, and then other things that are billable, as it turns out, are not all that valuable in terms of or impactful in terms of uh, yielding better health. And so you have a mismatch there inherently that I think creates inefficiency. So a couple examples. We know that for many clinical conditions, diabetes, congestive heart failure, kidney disease, uh, we know that diet plays a huge role in managing those conditions. And at the same time, you know, there is no such thing as a billable code for a banana um, or for a better meal or for teaching someone how to he eat more healthy. Um, those things aren't necessarily uh, billable services. And so health systems or provider entities don't focus on those. And yet we also know that those things are most impactful for those clinical conditions being able to be managed in an effective way where patients aren't um, subject to uh, exacerbations time and time again, uh, which can be a lot more expensive, uh, not to mention clinically not yielding the best outcomes either. And so I think there, um, that's part of what's broken, frankly, and what needs to be fixed. I've sometimes used the analogy, it's kind of like the movie Field of Dreams. Um, a lot of the healthcare infrastructure is they build it on the belief that people will come and they build bigger and fancier buildings and inpatient facilities, and people do come, that's great. And people will always need those super complex, sophisticated services. Um, but what we're trying to do at Geisinger is instead of the field of dreams, we're trying to build clinical capabilities and programs and meet people where they are, move those programs further upstream out into the communities where people live and work. Um, and by doing that, whether it's in the home or it's virtually, we know that we can make better health a lot easier and focus on um, those things upstream that can prevent the bad things downstream. In order to pull that off, the payment model is very important. Um, it's a lot easier to do when you manage the full risk of the population, i.e., you know, you're sort of in that managed care environment where you could truly focus solely on people's health. 